Hello and welcome back to the Reapers with me Tanky. Today we're going to look at the Verpal Mongoose T50 CM3 throttle. The lovely guys over at Verpal have sent me this throttle for the purpose of review but everything here is my honest opinion. So with all that out of the way let's dive in and get on with the review. First off the bat these came in premium packaging that you'd expect from a well known premium brand like Verpal. But I won't bore you with any unboxing. Let's face it even a pretty box is still a box and what we all want to know about is the throttle itself. So first impressions are really impressive. Once again we have an all metal construction with the majority of the throttle powder coated in black with some nice accents of yellow hatching around the four toggle switches. They also have a fair bit of weight to them which will help them keep them on your desk if you choose to use the side desk rounds which are mounted here with their rubber feet or you can remove them and mount them to a desk mount of your choice although I do prefer the Verpool desk mounts. Now coming from the Warthog, this throttle has more buttons, rotaries and switches than cappers drop bombs on orphanages, allegedly. Starting on the throttles themselves, on the left hand side of the split throttle system you have this nice large rotary with push function. This normal push button and a two way hat with push function. Now we move on to the right hand side you have this slider here which uh, has got a nice detent in the middle and then we move on to the four way push hat which has also got a uh, push function and then we move on to the analog mini stick here which also has a push function. Then we move round to the side of the uh, right hand throttle here you can see a nice big rotary dial that is surrounding the eight way hat with a push button. Then below that we have a normal push button itself. Coming further back we have these four way hats with push function. And coming further back we have these two nice push buttons with the bottom one being nicely accented in red. So now we'll uh, come down to the base and you can see it's got a, a nice lovely large analog lever here. And then it'll, we move on to the first of the two two position toggle switches. Moving down we've got the five way mode switch uh, but we'll cover more of that in a moment. And then as we move further down again we have these two rotary switches which also have a push function as well and then we move over to the momentary two position toggle switches here and uh, all these switches are made of the best quality materials possible and they, you can really feel that as you clunk around on these uh, these switches then we move up and we've got the last of the two two position toggle switches on the far left hand side and in the center we have the six led lit push buttons so as you can see you're really spoilt for choice with the amount of buttons and switches that you have here now as we have come to expect from verbal this is fully customizable with the detents and the light up buttons now you do get five sets of detents that come supplied with this and the required allen key to change them out so you have a wide range to choose from starting off with the pre-installed aerobatic set and that's a nice two piece push through offering and then you will move on to the other push through piece which is the Cosmo Sim one piece set and that's for those of you who enjoy to use uh, flight space sims like Elite Dangerous. We have the other three sets that get used in conjunction with the newest feature on the Mongoose T50 CM3 and that's these finger lifts these are absolutely fantastic um, they're nice and sturdy and they roll on a really nice slick bearing as you can see in the center here and they also have an adjustable angle on the front paddles the detents that you use in conjunction with these are the classic and the classic plus which is the same as the classic but it has an added notch in there to help you get a feel for when you're about to come out of either the idle detent or the afterburner and you also have 
the warthog type. Now you need to use the finger lifts to go into these, but you can just roll out of all of these, these detents except for the warthog type where it is a lift in and lift out style. They come in two parts, you have a front one and a back one. And I've tried them all out and I've settled on the sets that work for me, uh, but they're fully mixable. So I've gone with the aerobatic rear and the classic four end, but you can have whatever you like. You can also set the position of them on the, the center rails and that will help you adjust for how much travel the sticks need to go through with the actual position of the detents themselves. So you don't go too far over or too far out and you don't have to adjust them in the sim itself. And you can easily set these positions by adjusting it on the shown Allen keys in the center here. They also uh, go down into a metal sleeve and that ensures the longevity of the actual throttle set itself. So now we'll move on to the other nice feature of it, which is these LED lit push buttons. These are fully customizable as well. And you can actually do that by just popping off the cap like so. And then with that off, you can split it open and then pop in either a picture of your choice or one of the supplied stickers and then it just pops back on without any real effort at all. Now, if like me, you don't want to be putting the stickers in, you can set the LEDs to light up different colors for each mode on the mode selector switch. And that would allow you to have various functions assigned to various different colors, which makes it easy to understand what you're doing at a glance. If you don't want to do it that way, what you can actually do, you can have the mode selector within the Verpool configuration software as a modifier switch. So position one would be, for example, left shift. Position two would be left shift and left control and so on and so on. And from there, you can assign all those modifiers out to all the six push buttons. Verpal have also fitted to the front of the throttle base a nice little tray plate here and if we go around to the back you can also see their proprietary USB and aux cable connections. With the aux cable you can daisy chain in other various Verpal control panels which will allow you to tidy up your setup and make it a lot neater and a lot cleaner. The sensors for the slider axes are once again Verpal's contactless sensors, which combined with the slightly taller height of the throttles over the CM2 version, make all the fine control needed for refueling, aerobatic flight and helicopter flight a real dream to carry out. Pricing as of July 2021 for the Mongoose T50 CM3 set is €369.95, excluding VAT plus shipping, which I found to be a very quick process and it's really easy when they've got the items in stock, but they have got a new ordering system in process now. So in conclusion, I would have to say that I love this setup and it gives me the flexibility and confidence to carry out everything that I would want to do in my Sims and so much more. This setup is powerful and yet easy to use. And after using this throttle for as long as I have now, I wouldn't go to any of the setups. I've been Tanky for the Grim Reapers and I hope to see you all in the skies very soon.